What's up, everybody? Thank you for watching, subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, doing all the YouTube things that make YouTube such a spectacular place. Moa here, and we are back for the 10th day in a row with our free-to-play Magic the Gathering Arena video series. And we're back in the ladder with our blue-red Experimental Overload deck. Let's get after it. Working our way up. We're silver. All right. Opening hand, no blue, but it's fine. On the play with our best card. Uh oh. So, thing about mill strategies or rogues in general is that they're going to do a lot of the work for us. All right, never mind. So, it looks like black, red, sacrifice, and not rogues. Okay, sees the spoils. So, the thing about the mill strategies is they do put a lot of cards in the graveyard for us. Seems to be some kind of rogues, creature, sack, strategy thing. Yeah, it's still not blue. <laughs> All right. The thing is, there's really only one blue card we need to cast: experimental overload, and we do have treasures for it. All right, we pitch test the talents. Do need some of our creature removal here. And I mess with the audio, which is funny because I lost all my recordings and I have to voice over this. Which I mentioned every video. Alright, so double double experimental overload here. If we lose this game, it's probably gonna be because it didn't draw any creature removal. I guess get back iteration. Maybe help find some creature removal. I also can just kill them out of the blue if they let an attack through. Although they do have that guy who has lifelink, so they're gonna. Alright, Croaks. Uh... Let's see what I do. Pitch. I guess just pitch that, take three, and try to kill him next turn. Down to one. So, shock. Shock the rogue attack. Okay, um, didn't have enough mana to shock and attack. Yeah, I didn't have enough mana to shock and attack there. And still have enough to sacrifice, so yeah, alright. Anyway, didn't draw any creature removal. That happens. Alright, let's keep, let's get at it next game. Opening hand is not good. Yeah, I decided to mulligan that. I think that's fine. So the thing about that opening hand is that I didn't have... You can get away with just red, or you can get away with no gas and just creature removal. We can't get away with none of the above. You need something. Just buy Zerta here, because I really have nothing going on. I found a use for Zerda. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm, third color. Uh, playing black also. Alright, I have the overloads, and I just kind of need them to play something. Creature, so I can... Yeah, I need them to play some creatures, which doesn't look like they have a lot, but probably have something. Have a handful of creature removal spells. I would like to see cathartic be in here. All right, there we go. All right, that's what that works. So thinking about Caesar Spoils versus Double Caesar Spoils. Opponent not doing anything, we're just setting him up for the one turn kill basically at this point. Leave Shock on top. Yep. All right, probably not doing anything, so just wait. So if they tap I can just have enough mana just kill them one turn. Now multiple test of talents. So I think about what to do here. I think just keep passing is fine. You're gonna have to play something eventually. Just being patient is fine here. Another thrilling game of magic. Aren't you happy here today? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now this should be enough to win. So enough instance in the game now I think that at this point. Okay, so they don't tap out to try to kill it or anything. Yeah, there you go. All right, got him. I mean, assuming they don't have... Yeah, okay. All right. When your opponent does absolutely nothing, then that's no way to respond to your combo. You're going to win a lot of those games. All right, we'll be back.
This opening hand is great. Easy keep. We're on the draw, but we do have a shock if they have an early play. And blue, green, all right. Sorry for like my nasally voice and heavy breathing and stuff. I feel like I have some allergy thing or sinus or something going on. I'm having trouble breathing. All right, so set aside dual strike or foretell dual strike. Dual strike. All right, Fury is a land. I wonder if this is that blue green ramp or just random. Okay, so um, mutate. So if I two for one myself to get rid of it, probably what I'm thinking about. Yeah, I mean, it can just get so out of hand if you don't kill it. And the thing is, you can always just trade early. And we talk, I talk about this plan all the time. We just trade early and double. Cathartic Green. Okay, so I'm looking for Blitz of the Thunder Raptor, obviously. Put Test of Talents in my hand. Hmm. Okay. So it looks like they're definitely going to get a turn here of this nonsense. Let's see what they get out of it. Alright. Just gonna get a land in, another permanent. Yeah, it wasn't bad, but obviously you need to find something. Yeah, I think double cathartic reunion. Just need to find Blitz of the Thunder Raptor here. Okay. So now I have nothing, so I'm gonna get another turn with this nonsense. Alright, hopefully it isn't that bad this time. Still no blitz of the thunder after. Oh boy. So this I can just shock, right? Yeah. I mean not a shock. You can just frostbite. I don't know that I need to do it now, but I guess I start with opt. Looking for my Blitz of Thunder Raptor. So. Yeah, I don't like that play. I think I like double. I think I like double Fire Prophecy instead to get rid of the. What is it? Ostrich Hysterics. I still have plenty of time for overload later. Try enough mana to double Cathartic Union and then double Kizil's Fury. And attack first.
Yeah, I don't like how he played that. I definitely think I need to kill his Styrix there. And then I have plenty of time for experimental overload after. Not happy with that. Alright, so we fall the one and do one and two in the day. We we'll back for game four. Alright, this opening hand is reasonable. Obviously you're never mulliganing it. Um, two dual strikes opt. Frostbite is great. You like a little more than an opt, but even if you have as little as an opt, you just it feels like you have enough to kind of look for some action. But yeah, you're never going to mulligan this. So I leave, I start with blue on tap so I can find something. All right, iteration is reasonable. Now at least you get something. And with this start, you've, I feel like you're a pretty big favorite to beat almost everything. Certainly anything creature based. Uh, opponent playing swamps and not doing anything. Use the duration to find a land. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Opponent, uh, Demon Disciple, no an empty board, okay. Not sure why I put that. Not sure why I put that iteration away. Because I kind of have no action. You don't. You know I'm down and nothing left to do when I'm buying Zerda for the turn. Yeah, I might as well play it. Let him kill it. Whatever. One less creature removal spell. For when I make a token. I think that card does nothing. I'm going to target two for one Zest, but it's fine. You can't let that happen. Though, actually, we don't really have any permanents, so I guess target isn't that bad against us. Basically, just a vanilla 4 5 menace. And this is what I was talking about. When you don't have action, you just sit here not doing anything. And I can just kill that. Yeah, there you go. All right, triple sees the spoils coming up. Shock him so I don't have to discard a hand size. Huge blitz of the Thunder Raptor. <laughs> Shock them to bring them to 16, and then play a 16 16 overload token, which I draw the dual strike, but it would have been an exact season anyway. Perfect. All right. Silver tier three, perfect. Grinding. Okay, back to 500 on the day. Uh, this opening hand, not going to get it done. Uh, pretty clear mulligan. No blue mana, no action. Uh, 
the sand much better. Easy key. Um, I don't like putting back overload here, but I do understand it. Problem is, I feel like sometimes you just don't ever draw your overloads. But it's the least important card immediately, so. Alright, up against what seems like clerics. Alright. You want to kill that thing as soon as possible. I don't have any way to kill it right now. Let's see what I draw. Okay, draw a shock, yeah. Shock immediately. I've learned my lesson from running into turn three Sarah turn two Sarah Angels or not turn two, turn four Sarah Angels, stuff like that. I lost to that before, so I'm gonna kill that thing as soon as possible. Be interesting to see. Depending on what I draw, if I play reunion here or just iteration, iteration is probably fine. Depending on what they play also. Alright, so I guess I'm setting up for uh, Reunion because I buy Zerda, probably with the intent of discarding it. They foretell a card. I wonder if it's a flying haste lifeline guy. Pretty sure that may be a cleric. Alright. Alright, I found the Blitz of the Thunder Raptor I need. I think with all my action, I need to play Fury as a land here, but I didn't. It is that guy. Boom, get in there. More Blitz of the Thunder action, Raptor and Frostbite action. Easy for me to say, I can't talk today. I can't breathe today, I can't talk today, you know. Perfect conditions for making video. Cat running around in the background making me crazy, knocking things over, you know, that kind of thing. Alright. So, I'm not in a lot of trouble, but I do have to address all these creatures. I have ways to do that, of course. Alright, so let's start with Cathartic Reunion, okay. Man, I just... Yeah, that was really risky. I don't know why I did that. I feel like there's been a few games in the last few days where I have really needed to adjust the creatures in the board, but instead kind of went a little greedy with card draw or stuff. The opponent at 32 and I'm at 1. Not exactly where we want to be. Man, I feel like we just had a game like this yesterday against a red... I believe it's a black white deck. Alright, so I can do with a lot of their creatures. Let's see what I do. So yeah, just kill all their guys and I'm dead to Kill all their guys and I'm dead to the haste flying guy. Not where you want to be. All right, scry the top. All right, fifteen, fifteen, guy. Okay, that's not going to do anything. They know I have Blitz in my hand. I have Tested Talents up if they try to kill my guy. Alright, Scry main phase, why not? There you go. 
Not game yet. All right. So I can't I just be extremely cautious. I bought back Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. Hold up, test the talents. And then they're just dead if they can't deal with one of these creatures, which they probably can't. Okay, that thing's not going to do it. Let's see if this opponent remembers to attack with it. And again, they know I have Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. Should be game, yep. Got him. All right. All right. Three wins and two losses. Let's see if we can get that last win right now. All right, opening hand is great. So my plan would be to lead on untapped mountain, and then I can play Furies of Land on turn two if I don't draw land. Okay, but I didn't do that. So I did a foretell dual strike instead. That's fine, worked out great. Okay. Yeah, kill that thing. And we're able to kill them both. My double sees the spoils here. Blood Sky Berserker. This is interesting. Kind of like double sees the spoils, but I understand this too. Interesting spot. I can take the attack from the Blood Sky Berserker. I don't have enough, so I didn't draw a red. Don't have enough red. Draw enough red to just kill them. I can get in for eleven and kill a guy when they go to attack. Or just do it now if I want. Yeah, one more red would be game, but I don't have it. All right, but I got him dead next turn. Yeah, and I think to try to just avoid any potential shenanigans, I just do it now. It's fine. So they need to play a haste creature and equip it with Embercleave. Yeah, it's not going to work. All right, got him. Yeah, we'll just see what they block, and I'll just kill them with that. All right. Well, four and two today. Um, some not great play on my part in that one game that we lost where I felt like I should just... I need to be more aggressive attacking their creatures because once you stabilize, you can just play... You need to stabilize first before you start playing your overloads and stuff, but I tend to get greedy and go for card draw and not worry too much about the creatures because generally speaking, if you don't die, it doesn't really concern you what the opponent is doing, right? You can just kind of get away doing your own thing, ignoring what they do mostly. But yeah, I do need to wipe the board with creatures as often as you can, so. And then, you know, and then worry about drawing cards and all that and making your token get into your combo. You have to live long enough to cast after. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Um, 
We'll be back tomorrow. This was day 10. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.